But why? Like, what do you think is going to be the end result? Here? Yeah, like, is a is a worse hand going to call you, and is a better hand going to fold? And like, yeah, the nuance of that whole dynamic, and more and more players are thinking that way now. And if you're not so, what you're saying, more and more players are getting better. Yeah, that's problematic. That um, is it, problematic. Sure, I, kidding, in terms kidding. of like our bottom line, our hourly no, as <laughs> players, but. Uh, <laughs> I think no, it's, it's great fantastic. for the game. Great for the game. 100 great for the game. Game. Fantastic. Game. Trey's got aces. He opened, got flat called by Eric and Matt. Eric's got the flush drop. Matt flopped a set. This is going to get spicy. Yeah. Eric never folding. Matt also never folding. In fact, not only not folding, but now is the time to go for yep, the three bet. We have a check raise here from Eric and Matt with the bottom set cannot afford to allow another card to peel off for free. Yeah. Eric, the effective stack here, 3,600 behind, but does have to raise the 600 in front of him. Matt here now has to decide what the appropriate sizing is, and Trey may actually find himself in a position to fold, but let's see if Matt makes the size, what size is conducive to him. I I'm going to say 2K. No. I like this, actually. I was going to say 1800 or a little bit oh, uh, less. He's going to go for the 1550 50. The reason for this is that he doesn't want to price Trey out, and he wants to give Eric a rejam spot to where he can then reopen again. So there's a perfect sizing from that. Right. Well, he could have... No, I guess he can't go much bigger than that. And I have Eric's action. This is really an awkward spot for Trey. Having the yeah. ace of spades is actually going to put him probably in the tank for a little while here. If he doesn't have the ace of spades, I think he can just pile it in safely, covering both of his opponents, and just be like, somebody's on a spade draw, somebody might have a king, I don't know exactly that w how things are working out, but like, let's go for it. He may still end up making this play. Calls. He's certainly going for the call, and now, wow, Eric. How much is that I mean, he's, okay. he's priced gonna, I was gonna call, say, but he's going to I was going to say, Jammer, I, I mean, can you just call there, I guess? I think he's getting the price to peel one off. However, putting that much of your stack in, yeah, it, I understand it. I definitely understand it. Matt going to fill up here on the turn, though. Deuce is full of sixes. Trey may feel like However, he could saw we saw a run out where, um, you know, you think you need to hit your case ace or hit an ace and uh a six would also get Trey there. It would. Trey here going to feel a lot better about a set of sixes not being in Matt's range because there's only one combination of that now. So he loses to deuces and Kings. the very random king six of diamonds, never king six there, of clubs, yeah. and those just probably don't have I mean, Matt did call from the straddle position pre. So, like, the king six suited does exist. And Trey going to go big. He says, you know what? I'm going to get my value. If I wish there was a way that this could run out the uh, Babby, but it's not possible. It is not possible. Deuce is full of aces would be the best okay. hand made for Trey uh, that would like lose to uh, Matt's hand. Matt. Of course, not going anywhere. This is a hand far too strong to ever contemplate folding. This is for all of his chips, uh, effectively. I mean, when he Close. goes all in for yeah. the remaining 1,300, it is not going to matter for Trey. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this real oh life? Oh, my goodness. Is this real life? Wow. I oh, Matt. am that is. I am so surprised. I guess he puts him on kings and only kings there. Kings and only kings. That's it. 